Oops, now we get to have some fun with Elisabetta Fantone here. We're going to stand in one of her new collection pieces. Where did the inspiration of this come from? How long does it take for you to do this? And what tools do you use to make such a stunning piece of art? Um, first of all, it's acrylic on canvas. Uh, it took me about a whole night. I paint a night. Um, I could, well, in that period when I was doing the collection, I was sleeping during the day. And I would wake up like in the afternoon and then I would just go for it and I would listen to music such as like Buddha Bar and very loungy music. And I was in maybe a sort of sad mood, but not sad, depressing sad. Like sometimes people cry but it's for happiness and I was just feeling very like chill and... Does it symbolize any point of your career in your painting? Um, yes, you know what, when I came out of the reality TV show, um, I painted this one and another one, and I, I cry, but it's... I wasn't crying for sadness, but it's more for the change of life, because my life was completely different before and after, and it's a question of adjusting, so it's like all the emotions I was going through. So we have a self-portrait of Elisabetta here, and it is adorable, I love the colors. Now, you're crying, why are you crying? I wanted to represent myself and how people always look at the image also first of somebody um, and they'll judge right away by the look, the way of dressing and like how people automatically got the picture of me that I was a diva and I come from a wealthy family and all that uh, which they could have been totally wrong and you know, they, they forget that she's almost human, sort of. They just think she's like a plastic doll or something. So do you find each piece that you do, they stem from each other like a tree, down each branch, it follows a follow the method of how you're gonna do your collection? I really, um, like I said, I inspired myself of pictures or fashion. Um, so I could look at a picture of a girl in a fashion magazine and there's just something that's gonna intrigue me about her eyes or expression or her lips and they'll inspire me. Then I could see somebody else that is gonna give away a total different emotion or expression and that'll inspire me. And it also depends also of the music I'm listening to and the day I've had. And it's a little bit of everything together. Thank you so much today for your time, Elizabeth. It was a pleasure. Thank you.